Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made new content and this time I'm going to be offering something new for all of you watching me today. I'm going to show you how I prepared for my trip to Europe. I'm so excited. It's been years since I've been back in the continent and this time we, were, we are going through three different countries. We are entering through France, uh, in Paris most specifically, and then we're crossing over to Croatia where we will stay for a week and finish off the trip in Italy where we will enter through Rome and go to Florence. All right? So, if you are like me, who is a notorious overpacker, these tips I found useful uh, that I will share with you uh, helped me so much in all of the trips that I did, not just in Europe, but in most countries that I visited. So I hope you find these tips helpful. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. So stick around. Let me put my hair up because it's so hot here in Manila. Okay, so what to wear? That's the biggest question that you need to tackle before packing for any trip. Uh, in Europe, the weather can be quite unpredictable. So one moment, especially in the morning when you wake up, it's chilly and a little bit windy. And then when you go out in the afternoon, it's going to be super hot and humid, especially in the summer. And right now there's a heat wave going on in Paris. So I'm actually preparing myself for that. And then next moment it will rain. So please, please bear that in mind that you have to be pre prepared for all situations weather-wise. So that being said, you have to have classic pieces that you can layer on top of each other so you can, you can just take off your jacket if you want to, put a cardigan on, leave a tank top with you underneath and all of those things. So the key is selecting quality pieces that you can mix and match and put together and then dress down and dress up all throughout the day. So it can easily transition from a day look to a nighttime look. So welcome to our house. You can see I, I converted the billiard table into a place where I put all of the things that I need to bring with me, but not the books. Actually, it's going to be super heavy if I bring my travel books with me. So uh, please <laughs> don't pay attention to that. That's just a place where I put my camera on. So the angle is nice. Okay. But anyway, talking about classic pieces, I put together this capsule wardrobe that I'm showing you this uh, day so that you have an idea how I do the layering technique that is quite appropriate for any traveler that will you know create a capsule wardrobe for a two-week vacation in Europe so let's start with the tops so first one is a travel staple that I always bring with me I always bring a white button-down shirt like this that I can layer on top of a maxi dress or I can put on top of a swimsuit as a cover-up or basically just to dress up any outfit that I want to make it a little bit more formal and dressy and this one is from Camiseta. It has gold buttons so it looks quite feminine and elegant even if it's just a shirt. So I really love this. I've had this for years and I wear it with almost everything. The next one is something new. It's uh, based on a trend that I really love, which is oversized uh, shirts and, and collared shirts to be exact. And it's more of like Korean fashion. So you can wear this with denim and a white camisole on top. And it's easily something that can look clean and presentable. So if you're going to like a museum or a church where you need to cover your shoulders, this is something you can easily put on top of your tank top or your camisole so it looks a little bit more dressier. And the, I love the fabric of this dress because it looks like uh, linen but with airy holes. So since the weather tends to be hot during summer even in Europe, uh, this is going to be one statement piece that I would like to bring with me to dress something up, a casual look. Okay, this is not a top actually. This is a white dress that's mid-length, something like this. So this is very cute and feminine. It's actually on the all-white trend this season. And I really love this because I can easily wear this on any occasion, like strolling through the streets of Paris and Rome. And I can also wear this on the beach uh, while I'm lounging with my friends. 
So it's a very versatile piece that I could accessorize and play around with. And I love bringing versatile pieces with me so that I won't have to bring statement pieces. I only wear once. So the trick is if you bring something along, make sure that you actually use it and it has a purpose for your trip. The next thing I want to show you are my basic tops. So the basic tops that I'm bringing this trip are the following. So I'm wearing this one right now. It's kind of like a, a muscle shirt, but it's actually square. Its size is, is medium. And I love the armhole on the side because it's not too low and not too high. Just hugs my my arm and my shoulder in just the right places and it's airy and roomy enough so that when it gets hot you know my sweat doesn't go dripping all around my my clothes aside from this white shirt that i'm going to be bringing along i'm bringing along a very versatile black top again where i could put a blazer on again on this i could pair it with a skirt i could pair it with denims and it's very uh, actually useful for this trip although it's summer you will never go wrong with wearing black, okay? Especially at nighttime if you wanna go clubbing and go about uh, a night out of town with your friends, on the town with your friends. So a black shirt and a white shirt are my two staple tops whenever I go abroad. Aside from that, I'm also bringing several tank tops with me in a bunch of colors. Actually, they're not colors, they're, they're neutrals. So I'm bringing along with me a white tank top, a mocha one, Yes, a black strappy tank top. And of course, it has to have a white counterpart. I love wearing white. Okay, there. A little extra black one because I really love wearing black. Okay, all right. So other than that, I'm also bringing this new trend that came up quite recently and I do adore Korean fashion and Asian fashion and this easily polishes up any look, so I want to show you what I'm talking about. Hold on one second. All right, this is what I'm talking about. These are two pieces that I recently acquired. One has sleeves on it, and the other one is a sleeveless one. Both are colored and in neutral tone. So that's it, guys. If you really don't want to stick out like a sore thumb or look so much like a tourist in Europe, please don't wear your your team's uh, jersey, your school sweatshirt, or anything Disney, anything screaming of a label or a brand. Just wear something neutral. Wear something that you can swap around with in any of your outfits and you can't go wrong. So I love these two tops. I can put over any tank top, wear black pants and ballet flats, and I'm good to go. It's just simple accessories and that's it will complete the look so it's now time to talk about the bottoms of course you can't go around wearing just tops although you can but you don't want people looking at you the wrong way so let's begin with shorts so since it's summer it's going to be hot i'm bringing lots with me and all of these will be super duper used on my trip so the first one is a brown one this one is from zara i got this on sale i don't be ashamed if you buy things on sale because that's what they're there for all right be conscientious about how you use your money all right i love that i also got that in cream this uh piece i got from shein uh, i got it in black and it's linen as well and it's stretchy you can put this uh, over swimsuit after a day at the beach since we're going to Croatia. I also got a white version which has a top counterpart. Wait, so you can wear this as coordinates. All right, you can wear this and your bikini bra underneath, or you can wear this alone, or you can wear this with your denim pants. So however you want to do it, feel free to do it. As long as all of your pieces are put to good use, you should be fine, okay? And of course, let's all bring denim shorts all right denim is is such a classic you can't go wrong with denim and it it pairs well with anything and my favorite trusty after i eat a big meal shorts type of thing so i always wear this whenever i go to the beach it pairs well with any of my whites and i can just use it for traveling in between because in croatia we are going to 
arrive in Split, then go to Sibenik, and then we will go to Kirka National Park before even transferring to Dubrovnik where we will uh, fly going to Rome. So it uh, has to be quite planned, all the outfits. So now let's talk about accessories. So the trick when traveling through different countries, through different airport security systems and all of those things is not to be super fuzzed about so many accessories going on about your body. So I might as well minimize what I initially packed because saying this and looking at what I packed, I think I'm going contradictory to my suggestions. But in any case, just wear the classic pieces, a nice set of earrings for the evening, one classic pair for your daily wear. and basically just a few bangles or rings to jazz up your outfit and that's it okay for shoes always go for comfort because you will be walking around quite a bit not quite a bit a lot a lot especially in paris and rome it's a notorious walking city all the attractions are a few minutes away from each other so expect a lot of standing in line a lot of walking around the city so comfort is the topmost priority when you're selecting your shoes and please please downscale your footwear a little bit don't wear stilettos high heels and don't wear uh, fancy colors just go for the classic ones the classic uh, pairs and the classic colors like neutrals, black, beige, brown, and white. So I will show you exactly what I packed saying just that. So these are the pairs that I am bringing along with me. I hope you can see there. I have a braided tan colored sandals, a white one and a black one for some fancy evenings that I will go to because I'm going to an event in Croatia with my team from my company. And then I'm bringing along closed shoes pointy ones at that and a nude one and a black one because the streets of europe can tend to be quite dirty because of a lot of tourists and you know people can be careless with their garbage and of course um when it rains it's going to get be quite muddy and and wet on the streets so it's good that you have something close to protect your feet since you will be using your feet most of the time for bags i'm bringing three bags with me i'm bringing this straw bag was gifted to me by a friend and two uh, smaller bags for casual days out a brown one and a black one this black one is actually not a handbag it's a small backpack where i can bring my phone and my camera with me and my wallet i'm also bringing two belts the black one i'm wearing right now and a braided brown one i'm bringing a scarf with me one hat for the beach one beret for paris and uh swimsuits i just brought three swimsuits with me a white one a teal one and a black one all of which are my favorites so i just uh, selected three of those and now of course I placed my underwear in a separate mesh bag uh, It's always handy to bring along all of your items in compartments like these So these are my toiletries and my accessories I also brought along a medicine kit with me, you know, just in case and all of my electronics are in my carry-on Which is this one where it contains my laptop all my chargers my cords are in here and just in case, I also brought a laundry bag with me and a shoe bag. So if my, my footwear gets dirty, it won't contaminate the rest of the suitcase. All right. Oh, and before I forget, please don't forget to bring sunscreen with you because the sun is going to be bearing down on you the whole day as you go on your tours. Also, when you bring along makeup, please make sure that it's downsized as well. Don't bring heavy items like full coverage uh, foundation or concealer because you won't need it anyway it's going to be super hot and sticky so just stick to the basic neutral color something that will just give you life so you won't look as pale as you are with me i tend to look like that especially in the morning when i just woke up but just bring you know tinted moisturizer with you like i have on right now uh, mascara to to make your eyes pop in the photos and uh, lip balm of course because it because it gets uh, quite dry in in the cabin whenever you're in the in a plane or on a train so it's best that you moisturize and hydrate your skin as much as you can and also if you're an oiler like me bring your essential oils with you because they are very very good natural remedies for anything that you might feel while you're traveling so of course your medication your vitamins stock up on those and plan ahead so you won't 
be remiss every time you need it and don't have it because the language barrier can be quite difficult to traverse every time you're speaking a different language every four or five days when you're transferring from one country to another so it's best that you bring along whatever you need this is the suitcase that I will be bringing with me. It's a medium size traveler bag from Sky Travel and my carry on, which is this backpack. It's not so hiking looking, it's a bit dressy. There. So that's it guys, I hope you found this video very useful. If you're interested, I have placed the link down below for my packing list. It's very handy that you create a list so do you do not leave anything behind, you do not forget anything. And of course, if you have a tendency to overpack, as I said, that wouldn't happen to you because you just stick to your list. And of course, you can bring along other pieces as well, like a sundress if you like, or another scarf if you want to jazz up your outfit. But uh, needless to say, it was such a challenge to pack for three different weather conditions, three different countries, and 14 days. But we did it anyway, so I'm so happy that my capsule wardrobe is ready. If you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you guys and bye! See you in Europe!